Hey, how are you, everybody out there? This is uh, Brother Pat, uh, voice of a watchman, my son Joshua, my wife Mary, and uh, Brother Tony's here tonight, too. Say, say hello, everyone. Hi. How are you? Yes, we're just really happy to be here again. Yes, the Most High has given us another Tuesday uh, to come before you, uh, to humbly come before you, and to uh, always pour out our heart in truth to, uh, to I believe, a nation, uh, a Christian nation that has turned their back, uh, maybe purposely, I don't know, maybe accidentally, uh, maybe deceitfully, but whatever the case may be, Christianity has turned their back and probably has never really known the truth of uh, Paul's teaching and uh, all, all the apostles in their day. Nothing should have ever changed. Listen to me again. Nothing should have ever changed since Paul's day. Remember those people we met downtown, Joshua? Oh, that's Paul's day. You know, you're, you're out of step with society. Do you believe that? What I heard? I said, what? <laughs> out of step with society. Yeah, good. I'm out of step with society. Good. That's what you're supposed to be. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to be. Don't judge. That's um, right. Give him the name of the message. Dad. Okay, the name of the message. This is part one, Josh. This is part two. Identifying Israel. Part two. Now listen close. This is going to be a blessing for you tonight. This is going to bless your, your heart. Uh, I just uh, had a little conversation with someone at the gym uh, the other night. And I let him know. And he looked at me. He didn't say nothing. I said the Holocaust was, was a setup by the Rothschilds. Those are not the Israelites that went back to Israel in 1948. Hmm. And he looked at me like, you know, like I had, you know, ten heads or something. But he didn't say nothing. Then he said, well, uh, weren't they Jewish? I said, no. They were never called Jewish. They're called Judah. Jew is short for, I told you, for Judah. Christ is from the tribe right. of Judah. So let's get that and clear. I want to say some stuff to the Christians. Go ahead, John. Um, about the Holocaust and about the so-called rebirth of Israel. Y'all you know, don't, don't have to go there. I'll read the scriptures. I got the scripture for that. No, don't tell. It, no, it was, no, go to it, Josh. It was prophesied. Tell them to go. No, Ezekiel we don't have 36. Go. Ezekiel 36. 5. 5. Ezekiel 36. Therefore, go there. thus saith the Most High, got power. Surely in the fire of my jealousy I have spoken against the residue of the heathen, the other nations, against and against all... Edomia, which is a Greco-Roman word for Esau or Edom or the white man. Wow, awesome. You hear that? Which have appointed my land, Israel, into their possession with the joy of all their heart and have this spitefully, with the spiteful minds to cast out for a prey. So in 1948, that awesome, scripture awesome. happened when, when the, the so-called white man uh, uh, the so-called uh, Edomites put the Euro Europeans in the land of Israel in 1948 was prophesied in Scripture. So I want to say some stuff. How is it that the Christians are going to defend anything that, with now that the truth is being put out, you know, in a love and understanding spirit, of course, because all of us were Christians. We were Christians. We thought and believed like you. Go ahead, Not to say Josh. that in a prideful or arrogant, like we're higher, higher and mighty or better than you. We're not. We were, we were deceived like many Christians, and we're not coming against you. I hope you never took this ministry wrong like that. We're watchmen because we have found truth, and, and we want to watch out for our, for our nation, Israel. And also, the other uh, so-called white people, whoever they are, who want to follow the follow, truth? Follow the truth, and and Gent, the righteous Gentiles were here for you too. That's if you want right. to deal with the Most High and keep the Sabbath, keep we'll it deal holy. with you. But if you reject yeah. it, hey, we don't, hey, you know, we don't deal with people who want to argue and debate the Bible. That's right. So take it how you want it. But how are you going to defend the foolishness of the Christian Church, like the the Virgin Birth, which is really human worshiping man if you believe in the virgin birth you're worshiping mary you're you're a idolater you're a lifting up idolater mary 
over God. That's right. Or over the, the Messiah. Mm -hmm. When Christ was no more than a human being, born like everyone else, through the seed of a man in, in the womb of a woman. That's awesome. Compacted in blood seven, nine to ten months. And it's all over the scriptures. And, and, we, and we just see, listen, brothers and sisters out there, we have been indoctrinated into just believing certain scriptures. The immaculate conception. Right. Show me that in the Bible. There's no way it's not in the Bible. Show me the word immaculate and conception in the Bible. Show and, me. And the, and the word in, virgin. It's or, not. Well. Doesn't that, mean. Yeah. yeah, it is in the Bible, but it right. doesn't mean what. Right. The, the, the Catholic Church would want you to believe it through their harlot Christian churches would want you to believe it. Of all a virgin is, is a maid of meritable age. That's it. So if you are a woman that is menstru have a menstrual cycle, a girl, you are a, a virgin. It has nothing to do with the fact that you, you have not been dealt with by a man. That's right. You are still a virgin even if you have children, according to the Bible. That's right. You never stop being a virgin. Because when two people touch each other in a sexual way, and they say they love each other, you're supposed to marry her. It doesn't take a ring. Those rings are pagan. That, that's a pagan ceremony. A anyone who touches each other in life, see, and I used to put that down, see? I didn't, I didn't know well enough, right, Tony, a long time ago? When, when two people were living together, and I said, oh, you know, I, you know, you know, you can't hold it in down. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I judged them. I did tell them. Wow, they don't have rings on. They're not married. I, I, that has nothing to do with that. There's nowhere in the Bible that says you're supposed to give somebody a ring. Exactly, and I'm prove. I'm prove that this is a. Again, we're going to prove everything or try to prove everything we say with the Bible. You don't have to go there, but um. Oh, y'all don't have to go there. But this is Deuteronomy 22. I'll read it. Deuteronomy 22, 28. And if a man find a damsel mm -hmm. that is a virgin uh -huh. or a fair maid, which is not a spouse, betrothed, Engage. and lay, with, lay hold on her and lay with her, mm -hmm. and, they, and they be found, the man shall that have laid hold on with laid with her shall give her the damsel's father 50 shekels of silver and she shall be his wife because he hath humbled her mm. he has so to be all that requires you to today the, the father's got to give them <laughs> yeah, right. so according to the bible all that requires for a, a two people to be married is for you to lay with a woman that's right now, you have to be committed and willing to deal, only stay with that person. That's right. Because it says, and you shall, he must not put her away all, all his days. That's right. So, so you know how serious it is? Listen, single people out there. I know your pastors don't tell you this. I'm not sure if they've told you that. I don't know. I'm not sure if they've ever mentioned that or even read it to you. What, what was it again, Josh? Deuteronomy 22, 28, and 29. Deuteronomy 22, verse 28 and 29. Mark it down and read it yourself. So, now wait, wait. One thing before you start. Listen closely, please. How can the Holy Spirit be a seed? How can the Holy... How, why would God... <laughs> why would the Most High... Punish, how can a seed go to Mary? Why would he punish <laughs> angels? Again. And then he would Tell them, impregnate Josh. Mary... The same way. Yeah. <laughs> He's a hypocrite. Yeah. You see how, how we've been lying And to since him? the Holy Spirit is a woman, you're, you're, saying, you're claiming the Holy Spirit is a lesbian. Wow. Because he impregnated Mary. Yeah. So how are you, you going to defend anything that uh, you can't? The Christianity is utterly wrong. From every point of it, it's pagan. And what does John say? Tell him that, John. If you love me, what? If you love where? If you love me, keep my commandments. That's John what? 8? 14, 15. John 8, 14, 15? No, John 14. John 14, 14 and 15? 15. The Gospel of John says, if you love me, you keep my commandments. All right. That's right. If so you, If you don't love me, then 
the truth is not in you. Now we're going to prove. You can't have any truth in you. Yeah, exactly. We're going to prove tonight who exactly are the nation uh, make up the tribes of Israel according to the scripture. Awesome. They're going to go into the Bible and history, and we're going to prove. Without a shadow of a doubt, that these people are still alive today, and are very well in in, uh, in uh, oppression. And listen up, Christian Church, because we're going to give you scriptures on every tribe, where they are, who they are, why they're here in America, and where they're going. It's all going to be on that on that paper. Okay. Right. Uh, this you want, you want to start in Jeremiah or, or Jer Genesis? Oh. This is Tell him, show him the Apocrypha. Yeah, you, must, you must have the Apocrypha to hold understand still, yeah. that's uh, right. a lot of what we're going into. So that's the Apocrypha. Good. Now, Good. This is Jeremiah 17. Boy, read it, Dad. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. Stop. So for... If... if if you go up to the average, you know, African American today and ask them who they are, they don't know. Why? They don't know. Or the so called Latino, Puerto Rican, or you, whatever. You know, Brace Mahat too, just they get mad, they get angry. Oh, watch, they say this like this. I, I'm not making light. I know who I am. That's the first reply I get. You from don't many. know who you are. Then I, I ask them again, all right, then who are you? I know who I am. See, so they, get, they get prideful. Right away, that Afro American, you know, things. Kicks in, Tony, you know? Yeah. And See, it is sin. It is. You have discontinued from the heritage Go that ahead. you were given. What is the heritage? Tell them, Josh. The heritage you were given was this the Bible. The Bible is the heritage of the black, Latino, and Native American men, and we're going to prove it. Finish the verse, Dad. Okay. That I gave thee the heritage, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land. Which thou knowest so he not. Called, because of the rebellion of Israel, our foreparents were forced to serve other nations, not only uh, physically but spiritually through religion. How did most of the, the, the Latino people become Catholic? Because their foreparents, who were Hebrews, were, were conquered by the Europeans who were Roman Catholic primarily and Protestant, which is the same thing as Catholic. Uh, so, and I'll say that again, the Protestant Reformation was a force mm -hmm. by the, by the Catholic Church. Calvin and Luther and all those people were Roman Catholic. They never changed. And what did, what happened? They took the religion of Catholicism, brought it over on ships and started teaching it. They killed the, uh, the, the the ancient people of the Israelites who were here, the old, and they killed the young people who knew their history, and they raised up slave children with women who they raped. That's right. After they killed the families, they kept the women alive so they could raise up slave children to serve their religion. And that's that's historical, and you can find that out for yourself. That's the truth. So... They had, they, America, and then when the, 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 the three tribes of the southern kingdom came over here on the slave ships, according to Deuteronomy 2868, they were forced into Christianity every Sunday on the plantation. They had no choice. That's they right. had to serve Christianity. That's right. So Christianity is a slave religion made to destroy you. It's no other way of describing it. It's false. It's fake. It's not real. It's a farce. Christianity is... Just as wicked as a witch committing a seon, a seon, a seon. Yeah, Let me say something, Josh. Because of love for your family in the church, in the building, right, Tony? In the families. You, you, you don't see this blind side. You see, this is blind side. Because you go to church for that reason. I know. I went there 27 years. You see your friends, right? You see the people you love, right? You know the pastor. I mean, he is nice. All this, but your doctrines away out in the sea somewhere. And it's poisoning people, especially the love gospel. God does not love this whole world. He never did. Hmm. If that's true, then why did he make a hell? What? Yeah, he doesn't love everybody. You can't prove that he does. He doesn't. So, I mean, so, you know, there's so many doctrines, there's so many false doctrines that you're listening to in, now, in your church. 
let's go to Genesis 49 and get into it. Okay. Genesis, the 49th chapter. Genesis 49. 49. Where do we start, Josh? First verse to 27. Uh, so is this in order? Did you yeah. check it? Check it. Make sure it's in order. Because I, I, I mess with it. Not today, though. This is going to be awesome. This is going to be really awesome. It's all in order. Okay. So you show. You're closer, Josh. You show. You, you, you should have you had this today. Next time you do this, don't, don't use the table. We'll put our drinks up there, all right? Yeah, I think we're too far from it. Anyway, Josh, do that. No. We should sit closer. Okay. All right, give us a second. Yeah, everything's right. All right. Okay, good. Now, when we show you the picture, all right, it, it's, it's the best we could do to show you. Uh, I'll put it up as close as I can to the screen. But uh, Genesis 49. One. Uh, the father is going to speak. Uh, Jacob. Jacob's going to speak to his sons. He's gathered his sons together. Okay. All right. And he's going to tell them what's going to happen to them in, in the latter days. Go ahead. Read it. Verse 1. All right, Mary, you want to read verse 1? Jacob called unto Come on. his sons and stood and said, Gather yourselves together that I may tell you that which which Come on. Shall, shall befall you in the last days. All right. Good mom. Good. So, Good Mary. So listen. He, he was dying. Jacob. He was in, on his last breath. This is the progenitor of yes. the Israelites. And, and they, they paid attention. They wanted to know what was going to happen to their seed. This is what he was saying. So in the last days. In the last days. So this, today. He's going to describe a lot of how they would be, their, you know, how you would identify them. Today. That's right. And where they would be right now. Right now. So. And now I want to say so honestly. How many times have you heard Christian people tell you, Oh, they're lost forever. The tribes are lost. That's, that's the biggest devil lie that the Christian church has come up with. We're going to prove to you tonight. Verse 2. Tony? Um, gather yourselves together and hear your sons of Jacob and, he, and hearken unto Israel your father. All right. So listen. Israel was Jacob, so now he's Israel. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now. Listen. Now we're going to start with three. Reuben. Josh, show them the picture of Reuben. No, read the verse first. Okay. Reuben, thou art my firstborn, my might, and the beginning of my strength, the excellency of dignity, and the excellency of power. Unstable as water, thou shalt not excel. Stop. Watch your water now. Reuben? Get as close as you can. Reuben are the so-called... Seminole, pretty close to Joshua. Seminole Indians. The Seminole Indians are the tribe of Reuben. Wow, awesome! Now, now, read it. now I'm going to read this. Now, please, this is this is the ministry tonight. Now, I want you to listen. So this way, when you see us, and you see me. Now you'll know when, when we tell you, Afro American, Puerto Rican, whoever you are, Reuben, thou art my firstborn, my might, and the beginning of my strength. The excellency of dignity and the excellency of power, unstable as water, thou shalt not excel, because thou wentest up to thy father's bed. Then defilest thou it. He went up to my couch. Josh, you want to smell what that means? Or? Okay. Let's read it. All right. The book of Genesis describes Reuben as Jacob's strength and might due to the fact that he was the firstborn of the twelve. Genesis 49 2. Reuben's excellency of dignity and power. Describes honorable spirit, unstable as water, describes the n n nomadic lifestyles that are led by the other sons of Reuben, who are Australia's ab Aboriginals. Aboriginal tribes. Wow. Because of Reuben's sin, sleeping with his father's handmaid, the Bible states that he would not excel. This is also in reference to the Abor ab Aboriginal Australians who still, this day, live a very primitive lifestyle. Reuben has learned 
from his mistake. Since today, there are very strict laws prohibiting the extraction of a son and his mother-in-law. Did, did you see Florida there? Florida's there. You see Florida? Right. Wait, where? Oh, yeah, show, show Florida, John. Florida. Tell, tell them who's there. The Seminole Indians. The Seminole Indians. Oh, right see the state of Florida? Florida. So okay. that is the tribe of Reuben. That is the tribe of Reuben. Next, uh, right. let's get okay. Number five. Simeon and Levi. All right. Simeon and Levi are brothers. Instruments of cruelty, cruelty and cruelty. Are in their habitation. Stop. All right. So let's get Simeon. Simeon are the so called Dominican, down, down for Dominican no, down, Republic. The other, the other way down. Down, Josh. Down. So they can see the top. Down. There you go. Like that. That's the Dominican there you Republic. Go. There you go. And read it. All right. Awesome. Tell them who they are again, Josh. The Simeon are the so-called Dominicans. Okay. The so-called D Dominicans, Dominican Republic, fierce warriors of Israel. Fierce. Simeon and Levi are brethren. Instruments of cruelty are in their habitations. O oh, my soul, come not thou into their secret, unto their assembly. It's in the word. Just follow the word. Mine honor, be not thou united. For in their anger they slew a man, and in their self-will... They dig down a wall. Cursed be their anger, for it was fierce. And their wrath, for it was cruel. I will divide them in Jacob and scatter them in Israel. They're not lost, they're scattered. Genesis 49, 5 and 7. The Bible states that instruments of cruelty are in the habitation of Simeon. Joshua, you want to expound on what that means? Keep reading. All right, that's it here. This is, this is in reference to the religious practices, centuria, of the so-called Dominicans, which are heavily influenced by voodoo and Roman Catholicism. Jacob goes, did you hear that? Voodoo and Roman Catholicism match up. And Rome is the mother of Hollis of all the Christian churches. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jacob goes on to tell his sons not to enter, nor be united with the being partakers in, his, in this form of black magic. Jacob states that his son Simeon and Levi will be divided in Jacob. Though Simeon and Levi live on the same exact island and deal with the same exact religious practices, they can't seem to get along with one another. They uh, hate each other. Can you imagine that? So, see that? Simon is one of the ten tribes who, after the Assyrian captivity, set shore to the Americans, the Americas, 2 Kings 17, 17, 41, 2 Ezra's, 13, second what? Ezra's. Ezra's, 13, 39, and 47. Now, Levi. Levi, Levi are the so-called Haitian people that live on now. the Close island it. of right Haiti. There. there you go. Read it. All right. It may say oh, so we don't have to read this. Yeah, we don't have to read it. I can close this, right? No. Oh, I'll leave it open. Okay. Simeon and Levi are brethren. Instruments of cruelty, it, it sounds like it, we're saying the same thing, but yeah. it, it blends into this. O oh, my soul, come not thou unto thy secret, unto thy, to their assembly. Mine honor, be not thou united. For in their anger they slew a man, and in their self-will they dig down a wall. Cursed be their anger, for it was fierce, and their wrath, for it was cruel. I will divide them in Jacob, and scatter them in Israel. The Bible speaks of Simeon and Levi, our brethren. Though all the twelve sons of Jacob are brethren, Simeon and Levi would both be together inhabiting the same island in the uh, last days. They will live on the same island, in man. In the last days. Who are it's they? amazing that the Bible describes exactly where they would live. And they're there today. They're the, the tribe of the Israel. The island of Hispaniola is the, divided into the Dominican Republic and Haiti. Continue. Okay. The same prophecy a Lord to Simon, Simeon and also used to describe the conditions of Levi. Of Levi. See Simeon breakdown. Voodoo influenced by Roman Catholicism is also prevalent amongst the so-called Haitians. Uh, so voodoo and Wicca, witchcraft, is very prevalent in Haiti That's because right. of the Roman Catholic influence. Can you imagine that? 
continue. These are the instruments of cruelty in the habitation of Levi. Levi. Originally, Levi was not counted as a tribe of Israel, but was instead separated to perform the duty of priesthood. Uh, Numbers 18, 2, 4, Deuteronomy 19, 9, and 11. Levi eventually fell from the priesthood and became as one of the tribes of Israel. Uh, Malachi 2, 1, 9. Though, to Levi, though Levi is suffering in his current state, he will one day rise again to his rightful position in the earth. See that? Jeremiah 33, 17, 18. So let's, let's uh, recap. Je uh, Reuben are the Seminole, the Indians. Uh, uh, right there. Dominicans are the tribe of of Simeon and the Haitians are the tribe of Levi according to the Bible. Okay, Let's according to Judah. the Bible. And, and, and we're reading and, we, and we're giving you the word tonight. Let's get Judah. All right. Eight. Eight. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Judah is a lion's whelp from the prey, my son, thou art gone up. Thou stoop down, uh -huh. and he crouches as a lion. And as an old lion, who shall rouse him up? The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor the lawgiver from between his feet, till Shiloh come, and unto him shall be the gathering of the people. All right. So, who, who's going to rouse you up? So we are. People like us who know, understand the word of the Most High. Judah are the so-called Judah is the so-called African American. Read it. The so-called Afro-Americans of North America, kings of the nation of Israel. So you're telling me that those were Jews that went back to Israel in 1948? <coughs> no, they weren't. Judah, thou art my first, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Judah is a lion's whelp from the prey, my son. Thou art gone up, he stooped down, he crouched as a lion. And as an old lion, who shall rouse him up? The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet. Until peace come, Shiloh come. And unto him shall the gathering of the people be, mm. binding his fold unto the vine, and his ass is cold unto the choice vine. He <coughs> washed his garments in wine, and his clothes in the blood of grapes. His eyes shall be red with wine, and his teeth white with milk. Uh, and you know all have American teeth? They all got white, white teeth, don't they? Genesis 49, 8, 12. This is awesome. Now listen. Listen, my Afro-American brothers. Judah can also be found in high number in Brazil and West Africa. Judah would be praised based on the fact that the Most High and Savior of Israel would come from Judah. Hebrews 7.14 hmm. Wherever the chief enemy of Israel is, Judah is present at the neck. America being the head of Edom's power, Judah, Judah is at the neck of one of the most successful in athletics, 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 business, business, inventions, entertainment, etc. Uh. This links with the prophecy of Deuteronomy 33:7, which states that the Most High would make His hands sufficient for Him. Mm. The kingship of the nation of Israel was established with the tribe of Judah, and is an everlasting kingship with no end. Mm. This is based on the fact that Yeshia is both king and priest after the order of Melchizedek. Acts 2, 29, 30, Psalms 11, 1, 10, 4, Zechariah 16, 13, 6, 13, Hebrews 7, 1. Judah is described as being a young lion that has crouched down like an old lion. The big question is who or what shall, shall rouse him up? The Western world power structure, not, not known through experience, that once Judah rises, the rest of the tribes will come following after. Wow, hmm. that's awesome. So all the tribes will follow how after, he's asleep, Judah? after Judah because Christ came from Judah. Oh, that's it?
Let's get uh, oh. Zebulon. Okay, Zebulon. Okay, yeah. Want me to read that? Yeah. Zebulon. We, uh, wait, where are they? Tell the people. 13. All right, hold on. Genesis 49, 13. Go ahead, Mary. Zebulon. Yes, well, I'll be right back. Haven. Yeah. Haven. Mm-hmm. Haven. Haven of the sea. Haven. And he dwelt. He dwelt. He shall see for a uh, haven of ships. And his borders shall be unto Zebulon. Zion. Zion. Okay. Uh, the uh, the tribe of Zebulon are the so-called uh, Central American Indians from Guatemala and Panama, the haven of ships. Zebulon shall dwell in the haven of ships. He shall and shall be for a haven of ships. His border shall be unto Zidon. Awesome. Read, Josh. You got it? Want me to read? Okay. Where are we, Josh? Okay. All right. Let me see. Okay. Did you read it? You finished Right it? there. All right. Okay. Did you get this out there? Great. The habitation of Zebulon borders both in the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, mm. making it a haven of ships like many of the tribes in Central and South America and the Caribbean and the Caribbean Islands. Now, you know that if you travel down there, a majority of Zebulon have succumbed to the Roman Catholic belief. Uh, you see how much trouble we're in? You see, you see our brothers? You see where they are? Zebulon, according to the Bible, would rejoice in his going out. When you examine the land of Zebulon, he is surrounded by his brethren of the tribes of Israel. Murder and disease such as smallpox ravaged from Guatemala all the way through Panama wow. during the early 16th century under the hand of the Spaniards, American, American Holocaust. Wow. That's the Holocaust, p page 8081. Holocaust, so, the Holocaust was what happened to the nation of Israel here in America. That's right. There's well, no such thing as an, a European Holocaust. That's right. The Bible prophesied that Israel would be overtaken and consumed by pestilence, disease, and murder. Deuteronomy 28, 21, 22, 25. Okay, now, Issachar. Let's get the tribe of Issachar. I got it. I got it. All right, Genesis 49, 14. Issachar is a strong ass crouching down between two burdens. And he saw that rest was good. And the land that it was pleasant, and bowed his shoulder to bear, and became a servant unto tribute. So now watch who this is. It's a car. Are you so-called Mexicans? Yeah, okay, Josh. The so-called Mexicans are the put tribe it. of Isikar. Put, put close on the bottom. Let me see. Let me see. Put, let me see your face. Close on the bottom. Up. Lift it up. Closer now. Go close. Up. Up. There you go. Okay. Read it. Now, this is awesome. Now, this is for my beautiful Mexican friends that you're Israelites. You're not Mexican. The so-called Mexicans. Issachar is a strong ass crouching down between two burdens. And he saw that rest was good and the land that it was pleasant and bowed his shoulder to bear and became a servant unto tribute. You know what that means, Genesis 49, 14, 15? They are one of the hardest working people in the world. In Read the it. world. The Bible identifies the so-called Mexicans to a tree, a T, describing him as a strong ass crouching between two burdens, which denotes his great physical strength. Mm. Siesta is an essential part of Mexican culture and is defined when Jacob states that they saw that rest was good. Uh. Issachar is known all throughout the Americas for his physical hard labor, and, hard labor. and is called by his friends, Father Jacob's I'm sorry, and is called by his father Jacob a servant unto tribute. Israel seen, seen the present day condition of his son who would be working long hours, uh -huh. picking berries, building houses, etc. Building? For, yeah, mm -hmm. come on. Come on. For very little wages, Issachar is one. Wow. See that? All right, now, did you, did you hear that? This is awesome. Now, let's get the tribe of Gad. 
All right. Dan. No, Dan. Dan. Dad. Dan. No, Dan next, Josh. There is no tribe of Dan. Oh, yeah. That's right. Gad. All right, so let's go to Gad then. Okay, hold on. Verse 19. Okay. Gad, a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome the last. Read that again, Mary. Verse 19. 19. Okay. Gad, a troop shall overcome him, Gad. but he shall overcome at the, last. At the last. All right. So what does that mean? Hmm. Okay. Now, now listen. Now listen. Now listen to this. This is awesome. This is the American Indian. The so-called uh, so-called American Indians. Native American Indians are the tribe of God. The so-called Native Native the, the, the American the Indians. Told you, Josh. Right there. Are are the tribe of God. Read it. Wait, see, see that? See the Indian? Now, okay. That's why we should have been here tonight. When you do this, don't, don't use the table. We're too far away. Okay. The so-called Native Indians of North America and Canada. Gad, a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. Genesis forty-nine nineteen. If you ever wondered why many of the states in the United States in the in U.S. contain Native Indian names, Utah, Ohio, Dakota, Kansas, etc. Et uh, this is because the original inhabitants of these states were the children of Gad. Mm. Why is that the Native Americans therefore don't own America? Jacob informed his son Gad that a troop shall overcome him. Mm. The troop being the U U.S. Calvary. Yes. Psalms 50, 20, 21. Mm. Many atrocities have been committed against Gad, similar, similar to that of the native Indians of Central and South America. Israelite customs such as boots, Leviticus 23:42, smoke signals, smoke signals, Judges 20, 38, 40, and fingers, numbers, uh, numbers 15, 38, 39, are preserved in Native American culture. The Bible even describes the physical facial features of Gad, stating that their faces were like the faces of lions, and they really are. 1 Chronicles 12 8, Deuteronomy 33 20, mm. makes mention of how Gad would tear the arm with the crown of the head. Explain that, Josh. Explain that, the arm with the crown of the head. Let them know what that means. That means that when they would have peace pacts with one another, they would take the feathers off of their head crowns and they would cut their hand and make blood oaths with one another. Awesome. This plain custom of how the Native Americans would sign blood packs using a feather from their crown to tear a cut in their arm. Mm. Wow. This is awesome. So now let's get Asher. Asher. Okay. All right. 20. Tony, you want to read 20? Oh, yeah. Out of Asher. His bread shall be fat, and he shall yield loyal dainties. All right. Asher are the so-called South American Indians from Venezuela, uh, Argentina, and Uruguay. Yeah. Move closer. Up now. Up. Let them see the faces. Good, Josh. Okay. Uh, read it. All right. Awesome. Okay. The so-called South American Indians from Venezuela to Argentina and Ur Uruguay. Uh, Uruguay. Uruguay, sorry. Out of Asher, his bread shall be fat, and he, he shall yield royal dainties, or dainties, uh, Gen Genesis 49.20. The children of Asher can be found predominantly in all oil-rich countries of South America. As Jacob told his son, let him dip his foot in oil. Let many of the tribes who res reside in Central South America and the Caribbean islands. The land of Asher is blessed with many resources and delicacies. Genesis 49:20. Asher is no stranger to the physical and spiritual atrocities that befell his brethren who also make up 
the ten lost tribes. So Asher, now, lost doesn't mean they're not here today. Asher are the Venezuelans, the Brazilians, closer, Josh. the Uruguayans, and yep, Argentina. All right. Those are now. Let's get the tribe of Naphtali. Naphtali, 21. Genesis 49, 21. Naphtali is a hind let loose. He giveth good, goodly words. All right, Naphtali. Okay. Naphtali are the so-called Hawaiians, New Zealanders, and the, the people of the Fiji Islands. Now, when you see Hawaiians on the football field in sports, that's who they are. They're Israelites. That's the people of Naphtali. No, 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 that's, yeah, yeah, give me a Josh. There they are. You see that? You see the football player? Ah, uh, you see them? How beautiful they are? Okay. Read it. All right. I'll do it. The the indigenous the indigenous, no, indigenous people of Hawaii, New Zealand, and the feet the Fuji Islands. Fiji Islands, Tony. Yeah, Fiji. All right. Naphtali is a hind let loose. He give it goodly words. Genesis 49, 12, 21. This is great. Naphtali, according to Bible prophecy, would inhabit the South Seas. Hebrew translation, Yah Seas Du. 33, 23. Naphtali is also identified as a people satisfied with favor. As you can see, the children of Naphtali are very beautiful people. Mm. Hawaiian culture still contain many Hebrew customs, circumcision being the most notable. Look mm -hmm. at that. Awesome. They're still... Circumcising their children as now, just to uh, the last one, right? Joseph. All right. Well, really, it's um, all right. And the Ephraim. Well, we got Joseph next. Okay. All right. Genesis forty-nine, twenty-two. Joseph is a fruitful bar. Even a fruitful bar by a well, whose branches run over the wall. The archers have sorely grieved him and shot at him and hated him. But his bow abide in strength, and the arms of his hands were made strong by the hands of the mighty Ahia of Jacob. From thence is the shepherd, the stone of Israel. Mm, Even, all right, so awesome. I'll just show uh, the Cubans. Oh, the, there's no pictures. The Cubans oh, are... There's no pictures. Yeah, there is. The, the Puerto Ricans and the Cubans make up the, the tribe of Joseph. Manessa are the so-called Cubans, and Ephraim are the so-called Puerto Ricans. Oh, let me read. Okay. Read it, Josh. Thanks. Want to read it? I'll read it. Oh, Joseph, son, Joseph Jacob, son of jo uh, Jacob, had two bore two sons during... The time in Egypt, Genesis 41, 20, 50, and 52, Genesis 46, 20. These two sons received their blessing of, of Reuben. Yeah, and that's Reuben. And which is turn caused them to be, a, a, to be right, abducted, right, right. Uh, I got as okay. one of the, Sons of Jacob. That's right. Yeah. Joseph was prophesied to be a fruitful bro, fulfilled through Ephraim and Manasseh, who are known as having many children. The, the custom of both Ephraim and Manasseh is to extend their houses so that their children and grandchildren are able to live together under the same roof. Under one roof. Now you see how, see how Americans, now they, I, I grew up, I, I used to hear that stuff. You know, white people making fun of Puerto Ricans because they have so many people in their home. But they didn't even know what it was about. All right, you want to finish it? I got it. This is why. Read it. Listen, uh, folks. The archer, uh, Jacob, in, in, uh, identified as his branches run over the wall. The archers who grieved the children of Joseph are the Spaniards uh -huh. and conquistadors That's right. who, through genocide, wiped out a large portion of Ephraim. Wow. 
population. Manessa and Cuba live. Many of their brethren were blessed with fertile tropical lands. Deuteronomy 33. Okay. And finally, let's get Benjamin. All right. Benjamin. You can read some. Again, read 27 there. Benjamin Come on, loud. Show raven uh, on a wall. As a wolf. Okay. Benjamin shall raven as a wolf. Go ahead. In the loud. morning, he shall devour the prey. Good, Mary. And, and it. At may, night. And at night, he shall divide the spoil. All right. Good. All these are the 12 tribes of Israel. Oh, I'm sorry, Josh. Okay, this okay. is all right. Uh, show Josh. Benjamin are the Close Jamaicans, up. the so-called Jamaicans and West Indy Blacks. Okay. Read it. Benjamin shall raven as a wolf. In the morning he shall devour the prey. And at night he shall divide the spoil. Genesis 49, 27. The so-called Jamaicans and West Indians. The wolf. Benjamin alone, with his brethren, Judah and Levi, can be found in high number in West Africa. They are described by their father, Jacob, as having the spirit of a wolf. Wolves are known for howling at the moon, similar to the way, similar to the way that the so-called West Indian sings songs Zion toward the heavens. Wow. This also describes the sometimes rapacious spirit that Benjamin carries. Under the Maroons, Benjamin would overtake the slave ships and turn them right. back towards the coast of West Africa. Wow. They would then take the resources found on, the, on, this ships, on these ships and divide the spoils amongst one another. <laughs> awesome. The Bible also makes mention of the blessed land in which Benjamin dwells, stating, The beloved of the Most High shall dwell in safety by him, and the Most High shall cover him all the day long. And he shall dwell between his shoulders. So, those are the twelve tribes. I of hope the you were blessed of Israel. hearing that. Yeah, that was awesome. So now let's get Deuteronomy the twenty-eighth chapter, and let's cover some of the curses. And now, then we'll hit Deuteronomy thirty-three to right. finish out. Deut Deuteronomy what twenty-eight, right, Josh? Deuteronomy twenty-eight. Uh, 15, 48, and 68. All right. I'll read. Deuteronomy. I'll get it. 15. Okay. You guys got it? You got it out there, our viewers? Deuteronomy 28. We're going to start at 15, right? Josh? 20, 15, Josh? Uh, 28, 15. 28, well, 15. Well, let's start with the first verse, actually. 28, 1. All right. Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter and the first verse. Read but it, it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently... Unto the voice of the Most High thy power, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Most High thy power shall set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So, the Most High was planned for the Israelites, the so-called, first of all, uh, how did the Native Americans come to America, so-called Native Americans? The Bible tells us. Let's get that. Second Ezra uh, 13 in the Apocrypha. Okay. Second, Second Ezra is the 13th chapter. Uh, what chapter, Josh? Second Ezra is what? 13. 13. Okay. 13 where? Where are you starting, Josh? You can read. All right, 13. So you can read it that if you want. 13 where? 1339. All right. All right. Second Ezra 13. 39, and whereas thou sawest, and he gathered another peaceable multitude unto him. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Osea, the king whom Samalasa, the king of Syria, led away captive. And he carried them over the waters and and he carried them over the waters, and so came they into another land. So stop. So the Bible says that 
the the ten the ten tribes of Israel were taken away because they fell into idolatry. They, they started worshiping pagan gods or, or religions. That's right. So what happened was, uh, um, was that the the Syrians under Solomonezer came in to northern Israel and they carried them away captive into Assyria. Verse 41. But they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen mm -hmm. and go forth into a further land, country whither no, never, whither no, uh, where, where, where never mankind dwelt. Look at that. So, Nobody ever came to America until that time. Right? right. So, it's all right, Josh. Good. Read that again there. Yeah, it was good, man. 41. Those are the ten. Okay, 41. But they took this counsel among themselves, like they got together, you know, and they decided what they were going to do. After the captivity. If, if they took them, that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country. Where never mankind dwelt. Wow. So, wow. So what they did after they uh, that's good. That's great. During the captivity, they came together, and they decided that they would le come together after they would uh, were freed. Uh, and you know, they they would come together and they would leave the country and go to a far away country, and. Where no people dwell. That's why you need this apocrypha because this apocrypha was taken out of the King James Bible, and we've showed you on our programs already. We have an original 1611 King James. You have it, Mom? Yeah, and and the apocrypha is right in the middle, Verse right in the middle. Forty-three, uh, forty, two. forty-two, forty-two, Mom. Go ahead, Mary. That they might. Tony, you got it. Yeah. You read the next one. And they might there keep their Come on. statutes which they while they never while they which which they never never kept. All right. In their own land. Well, wow. So they never kept Look the law, that, huh? the statutes in their own land. Wow, so they, they took this council to come over to Could the Americas so they would keep their own their customs. Mom, you have uh, 43? 43, Mary. And they entered. And they entered. And they entered. Into Euphrates. Into Euphrates by one. By the narrow. By the narrow. Passages, passages of the river. river. Wow. So they, they came. They came so over into the Euphrates mm -hmm. around Africa and over to the New World. Okay. Mom, awesome. you want to, uh, 44? For, for the most high. For the most high, there. Then showed. Showed. That. Signs. Signs for. Them them and had held held still the flood the flood off till they were what they were what passed over okay. wow so the what over. the most high did is he kept still the flood water the the ocean so they could come over tell here tell them Josh that's right until they passed over and he held all those storms all those raging seas so 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 he could he could uh, preserve his 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 tribes forever, although he although the curse was still on him. So it didn't get any better when they got to America. <laughs> so now, Dad, read the forty-five. Okay. For though that for through that country there was a great way to go, namely of a year and a half. So it took the ten tribes a year and a half to come over from Assyria to America. Now watch what America was called. It's called, well, yeah. Was. Uh, you're right. And the same region is called what? Osiris. Osiris. Now, That's how America. did America become renamed? 
Hold your place in Deuteronomy. Close the apocrypha. All right. That, that's the history of the ten tribes coming over to America. Now, I hope you heard that. Asher. That's what America was called. How did America become America? Named America from Osiris. Deuteronomy where, Josh? Uh, let's go. Let's read that. Psalms 49. Oh. Psalms 49. I got it. 11. All right, 49, 11. Hold on, let it. everyone get it. 49, 11. Psalm 49, 11. Out there, too, please, 49, 11. Hold on, Dad. Yeah, we'll wait. So, everybody got it? Okay. Their inward thought is... So, 49, 11. We see, wait, Dad. All right. So, we see Ten that minutes. America, uh, that the, the native, the so-called Indians came here... And uh, they came here over the, over the seas. The Most High kept the ocean still so they could come over here uh, and pass safely. Okay, 49.11. You still want to talk, Josh? Are you done? You got it? Mom, you have it? No, I got it. I'll, I'll read it. 49.11. The inward thought is, that their houses shall continue forever. The, the people who rule the earth. And their dwelling places to all generations. And their dwelling places to all generations, read. They shall, they, they call their they land. They what? They call their land. They call their land. After their, after their own names. Read it again. Wow. They call their land after their own names. They call their lands after their own names. Names. Yeah, they're pagan names. America was named after America's past beauties, not the land of uh, Osiris, according to Scripture. Deuteronomy 28.15 now. Let's go to Deuteronomy 28.15. Okay. Deuteronomy 28. Okay, I got it. I'll wait for you guys. I right, Deuteronomy out there, please. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Okay, everybody got it? Sit. Everybody got it? Mary? Okay, we got it. Deuteronomy 28:15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Most High thy power, to observe to do all his commandments. To do what? To do all his commandments. To do what? To do all his commandments. Continue. And his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses... That all these what? That all these curses... That all these what? No, curses. Cursings. No, curses. Continue. <laughs> Don't rob my joy. <laughs> they shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, <laughs> let's go to verse 48 now. All right, verse 48. Okay? 48. Yeah, you got verse 48, Tony? Therefore shall you serve... Your enemies, which the Most High shall send against you in hunger. You'll uh, go to them for food. Come on to you. And in, it, and in thirst. Uh, water. water and nakedness. Uh, clothes. And in one of all things. All, all things. things education, and religion. Wait, wait, Tony. Stop. Continue, Tony. Okay. And he shall put a yoke uh, of iron. Of what? A yoke of iron. Of what? Iron upon your neck until. No, Tony, you got to stop when he says. When you put a yoke of what, then you just say iron. See, we're trying to emphasize the word iron because a lot of these people don't believe that when they put those iron things on, on, on their necks in the ships, they said, oh, no, you're taking this out of contact. This has nothing to do with that. They put this in yeah, your movies. Okay. Yeah, you sure did. They sure did. Now, Dad, Josh, Tony. Verse, um, he did, Dad, Mom, you have. Destroy you. Until he have what? Destroy you. They have destroyed you. That's right. Until they Mom, have, you have destroyed you. 49. 49, Mary. Most I shall bring a nation against them, against thee. Come on. From far. Stop, stop, stop. From Europe. Continue. From the end of the earth. Because Good. no one knew, no, the, the, the people that were here didn't know that there was other people there. As, as okay, Mary. As swift, come on. Swift as the eagle. Stop. Fly. As swift as the what? Eagle. As the what? Eagle. As the what? Eagle. 
What is the sign of America? Bald eagle. What is the sign of England? Bald eagle. What is the sign of France? Bald eagle. What is the sign of of Rome? Of Rome? Bald eagle. Thank you. Wow. The nation who Shalt thou not understand? So the people that were here when they came off those ships, right? They didn't understand they didn't nothing. English. That's right. Because they were speaking Hebrew. That's right. That read fifty. A nation of fierce countenance. A nation of what? Fierce countenance. Means they were angry. That's right. Which shall not regard the person of the old. Because they killed the old people. Nor show favor to the young. So they killed the old and the young. Yeah, that's our country. And that's our country today. Now let's get the, the, the death nail that the, these people are the Israelites. 68. Okay. 68. I'll read. Okay. Genesis. I mean. I'm sorry. Deuter Deuteronomy 28. 68. Sorry. Okay. And the Most High shall bring thee into Egypt. Into what? Into Egypt. Into what? Egypt. Into America. America. That's Say, right. Now read it as America. And the Most High shall bring thee into America. Again with shifts, by the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Your friends. Enemies. Your friends. Your enemies. No, go to their churches. <laughs> your enemies. For bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. Now, let's get into Wait, the... Explain that. No buy man you. shall redeem you out of the slavery right. that you bought your soldiers... Deuteronomy 32.7, we're going to get into some of the, we're going to close with Deuteronomy, this, uh, 7, I got it, I'll wait for that. Deuteronomy 32.7, Deuteronomy 33, verse 7, 33.7, oh, I got it, 33.7, all right, all right, ready out there, Mary, Deuteronomy 33.7, Wait, no, uh, stop, Mom. Read verse 6, Mom. Okay, Mary, 6. Look, let, let, bonded, let Reuben live. Let Reuben live and not die. And let not his, his men, men be few. So, Reuben would be blessed that his people would not be few. That's right. The na the, there's still a majority of the, the so-called Seminole Indians here in America and the Aborigine people of, of, of Australia. Okay. This is awesome. It's really good to hear. And this is the blessing of Judah. And here, and he said, hear, hear power, the voice of Judah. And bring him unto the people. Unto his people. Unto his people. Let his hand be sufficient. Uh -huh. And him. let his. For him. For him. For, let his uh, hand be. be sufficient for him. Okay. And let. And be. And be a help to him. Be thou a help to him, him. from his enemies. So his hands that uh, Judah would be very uh, powerful. Awesome. They would be like Judah now is today. They're in all the sports. They're in that awesome movie entertainment. I want to say something, Josh. This is what I feel about. This is this is coming from my heart now. Okay. When I meet the Puerto Rican and the Mexican, and and I, I have really more regret for the Afro American when they when they don't receive. It bothers me a little because it, we've been lied to about our identity, and it's the hardest thing to overcome. It really is. Because right, Tony, yeah. we, we we've been brainwashed into right. We're Italian, right? Just we've been told that, right, Tony? We people have been brainwashed into being Afro American, Puerto Rican, and when you hear all these new truths, these truths, these are all true. These are all true, and it bothers our pride. It's our pride. So you better listen to me because I love you. You better let the Holy Spirit deal with your pride. That's a pride problem. Once He can break through your spirit, right, your heart. Uh -huh. Right. Where are you going? Verse uh, okay. 8. I got it. I got it. And the Levi, and of Levi, he said, Let thy true woman and thy yearm 
be with thy holy one. So thy priest. So Levi, the Haitians, as would a, a still be wearing priestly garments, and here, although yeah. they are not under the covenant of the Most High. They would still be dealing with sacrifice. Whom thou didst prove at Massa, and with whom thou didst strive at the waters of Meribah. So verse 10, they shall teach Jacob uh -huh. the judgments. So the Haitians were commissioned to teach Israel the judgments. Okay. Of and Israel thy law. And thy law shall, they shall, they, they shall put incense before thee. Uh -huh. And whole burnt offering sacrifices upon thine altar. Amen. So Amen. the Haitians were the ones who were, who were charged to sacrifice for the sins of Israel. So how does that just how do they still uphold this office today? So when uh when you go to a Haitian priest and you want a, a, a curse or something put on somebody, what that priest will do, he'll take an animal and he'll kill it. Although they're doing it to Satan, they're still upholding that same authority today. You see how lost our people are? Josh, can I read something? Can I read this? Uh American Indians, uh, Deuteronomy 33, 20. And of Gad, he said, Blessed be he that enlarged Gad. He dwelled as a lion and teareth the arm with the crown of the head. I love that. Stop. Yeah, that, 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 that's in uh, the pocket book. Let's read. Uh, we're, we're just going to go straight through this. This is, is going to take long. All right. And um, the end. And of Benjamin, uh, this is Deuteronomy 33, verse 12. And of Benjamin, he said, the, be, um, the beloved of the Most High shall dwell in safety by him. And the Most High shall cover him all the day long. And he shall dwell between his shoulders. Explain that, Josh. So if you look at the landmass of Jamaica... It's shaped like shoulders. So, and, and the Caribbean islands, where they would dwell, it, it looks like shoulders of a person. So that is prophetic of the land, the, the shape of the topography of the land that, that Benjamin would possess. Uh, Mom? And of Joseph, he said, Blessed of the Lord of the Most High, he has, he, he, he be his land. Be his land. For the precious things of heaven, for the dew, and for the seed that crouches beneath. All right. Stop. So this is this is describing the land of Cuba, what we would call Cuba in Puerto Rico. The land is very precious, very rich, very beautiful land. Um, verse 14 that and for the precious fruits brought forth by the sun so the lamb would bring forth fruits by the sun and for the precious things put forth by the moon wow. mm. and for the chief things of the ancient mountains the ancient mountains of Puerto Rico and Cuba wow. and for the precious things of the lasting hills so the, the, the lasting hills it would be a very Fruitful place, watch, the, watch, the watch, land of Puerto Rico Charlie, and Cuba. The father saw all this. He knew exactly where they were. This is Moses. Talking. Yeah, I know, but yeah, the, the, Jacob. He, he saw all his brothers, and so did Joseph. I mean, all. I mean, so did Moses. Sure. Now this is a, this is a. Oh, this is Moses speaking. Here? Yeah, this is Moses. Oh, okay. So he's pro Moses is prophesying where his people would end oh, up in uh, in uh, the latter days. Awesome, uh, verse 16. And for the precious things of the earth and fullness thereof, and for the great good will of him that dwells in the... So stop. The, in the bush. The, the tribe of Manasseh and, Cuba, uh, and uh, Ephraim were very good, kind, beautiful people. They dwelled in the bush describing the living where they live. So the, the Europeans, knowing this, knew where to go in these lands to look to find them. So this was handed down to Moses. That's why Moses knew this. 
and the Most High showed him yeah. Moses to That's, prophesy this to the awesome. children of Israel. Isn't that awesome? Wait, wait, explain the bush, Josh. That's where they, they would live in the bush country, in the woods. They wouldn't live, they would live Excuse inland, me. in the bush, right. in the jungles. That's right. Okay. The blessings come the done, okay. upon the head of Joseph okay. and upon the top of the top of the head of him that was separate separate from his brother. All right. For his glory is like the first fruit of his of the bullock, so they'd be very uh very strong very. Strong, noble people. That's right. The the so-called Puerto Rican, the Ephraimites, and the Manassites. For and his horn shall be like the horns of unicorns. With them, with them he shall pu push his people together to the ends of the earth, and they are the ten thousands of Ephraim, wow. and they are the thousands, thousands of Manasseh. Now yeah. let's read about Zebulon there. Right. And of Zebulon, he said, Rejoice, Zebulon, in thy going out, and Issachar in thy tents. So, next verse. And they shall call the people unto the mountain. There they shall offer sacrifices of righteousness. For they shall suck of the abundance of the seas, and of treasures hid in the sand. So, let's, wow. uh, awesome. so let's look at that right quick. So, Zebulon would rejoice with Issachar. So Issachar and Zebulon would live together, would be right next to each other. The so land of Mexico and and the Central American Indians are those people. So they would have they would almost inhabit the same land. They would be separate, but their lands would be, be very fruitful and rich and beautiful lands. So awesome. Issachar and Zebulon are the the um the Mexicans and the Central American Indians from Panama to Guatemala. So, Gad. That's about it. Yeah. That did. For Gad, of Gad he said, Blessed be the he that enlarges Gad. He dwelleth as a lion. He teareth his, the arm with the crown of the head. Speaking of the way they would make peace pacts with one another. That's awesome. Uh, third 21. And he provide the first part for himself, because there, in a portion of the lawgiver, was he seated. So Gad was the lawgiver of the tri tribes uh, in America. And he came with the heads of the people. Of all the other tribes. He, he executed the justice of the Most High. So he, kept, he, t he instructed them to keep the law. And his judgments with Israel. So, wow. So, okay. So these people weren't. I mean, some of the tribes were dabbling, dabbling with uh, still uh, not witchcraft, but you know, stuff they were smoking. Let's and get uh, twenty-three. Damn. And and of the Messiah. Possess thou the, the west, west one, and, one, the, one, two, the south. and the south. Good mom. So that's describing the, the Hawaiian islands that they would possess, okay. the Fiji islands and the uh, South Sea islands. Awesome. Let's get Asher. And of, and of Asher, he said, let Asher be blessed with children. Let him be, have lots of children. Right, and let him be acceptable to his brethren. Mm. And let him dip his foot in oil. That means the lands of Uruguay, Argentina, Brazil, and Venezuela would be very oil rich countries where he's, his people would dwell. That's let's awesome. close our Bibles and let's give them a couple of. That's closing awesome. uh, statements, then we'll bless the people. Well, let me say something first, Josh. You know, I, I really, I really hope that that you got something out of this that you've learned because this has really helped, especially our whole family. Because when because when we share, when we meet other people, we like to tell them who they really are. And sometimes, you know, they don't receive right away. But now that we're on YouTube, 
and uh, we've been, you know, sharing this for quite a while already, and uh, I, I just hope it continues, and uh, that you'll get a hold of this, and, and you'll watch this uh, this uh, segment. Uh, we usually what? Uh, uh, what do we load down, Josh? About six thirty, something like that. So around twenty twenty five after six six, you know, six thirty. Uh, you can catch us on YouTube. Yeah. Voice of Watch. We don't try to rush. We 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 let the most. If high. you can if you can listen to the whole segment, it's like an hour, an hour and a half. You know, then just listen to parts and just come back to it. Uh huh. See, we have to understand the way the Bible. The Bible is not religion. The Bible is spiritual. It's geographical. It's That's right. It's um, topography. It, it describes land, masses, people, where they would be, where they would exist, who they were, who they are, who they still are. So the Bible is a spiritual history book of a people. That's right. Who is it? The spiritual history book of the children of Israel, who is proven today are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Now, your churches. I'll read this. We'll not touch on this. Why? Let's. I'll read that. Isaiah, the eighth chapter. Isaiah 8, 20. Isaiah 8, 20. Good reading, everybody. This was good. This was a good lesson tonight. 8, 20. This is your preachers in your, in your churches. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Okay. So if your churches you are not identifying Israel and the tribe again. and who they are and telling you to That's follow right. the law, let's read it again. What's the most important Give thing? Give me the scripture again. Make sure they got it, Joshua. Isaiah eight twenty. And I'll read Isaiah eight twenty. What what makes you what is the full counsel of God? What is your duty as a person? Ecclesiastes nine, uh, twelve, thirteen. Let us hear the whole matter. The, the whole conclusion of the matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. This is the whole duty of man. It's the whole duty of man. So if your pastors are not telling you to keep the law, statutes, and commandments, the Sabbath, the, the feast days, they are there is no light in them. And get out of those churches. There are false prophets. They are under the devil. And I'm going to prove that too. Hold up. Jer uh, Isaiah 60. Uh, Isaiah 56. They, they have come. They have gotten into your churches, and they have taken more money from, from the Christian church by you giving them offerings to lie to you. To, Isaiah to, to talk the seed out of their own heart. Isaiah 56. His watchmen are blind. Your your pastors are blind. They are all ignorant. They are ignorant. They don't know the Bible. At all. They have no knowledge of God. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark, sleeping, lying down to slumber. Yea, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough. They are shepherds that cannot understand. They cannot understand the Bible. First Corinthians, uh, second, uh, hold on. Second Corinthians 11. I'm breaking down your pastors and your churches. They're, they're of the devil. Go ahead, Josh. Second Corinthians. Oh, look. What are you doing? We're on yet. Turn it off. We're on. We're not done yet. Come on, close. Come on. Hey, no, no, no. We're on you. We got close. We're closing. Okay, close, Josh. 
let me say this again, please. If you can't catch the whole hour and a half, just watch us maybe 20 minutes or a half hour at a time. But please watch the whole program. Because if you just watch 10 minutes of us, 20 minutes, you're not gonna you're not gonna get anything out of it. Okay? For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ, for no marvel that Satan himself has manifest has trans formed himself into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers, the, your, your pastors, Go ahead. your Christian pastors, also transform themselves into ministers of righteousness. So your pastors are of the devil, according to the Bible. They are not teaching you nothing. They have no knowledge of God because they are of Satan. So we, we like to say... Um, Peace and blessings on you. We like to say uh, Shemaya Yisrael, Ahaya Elahaya Nawa Ahaya Kad. Thank you. And Shalom. Shalom.